A Pawtucket man's arraignment for facing more than 160 weapons and drug charges was postponed this morning due to a medical issue. But online court records show Ferdinando Lombardi is now set to appear tomorrow morning. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie is looking ahead for us. And Alex, you spoke with our law enforcement analysts about the ghost guns involved in this case. Yeah, state police task force found 20 ghost guns plus parts to make them inside Ferdinando Lombardi's Pawtucket home. This week, the guns are something that 12 News law enforcement analyst Stephen O'Donnell believes were only going to be used for criminal activity. What started as a narcotics investigation also turned into a massive weapon seizure at this Pawtucket home on Tuesday. A Rhode Island State Police Task Force found 20 ghost guns, five other illegal firearms, and ghost gun parts they say belong to Ferdinando Lombardi. There's a positive and a negative. The positive, the police took him off the street. 20 ghost guns are off the street and drugs in cash are off the street. The negative, 12 News law enforcement analyst Stephen O'Donnell says, is that Lombardi could be one of many running this kind of operation. Their only use is for uh, criminal operations because if you're going to buy a gun, you just go to the store and buy it. You have to go do a background check. Ghost guns, there's no background check. You assemble them, put them together. O'Donnell says ghost guns aren't a new phenomenon, but rather a bigger one. I've been retired for seven, almost seven years. It was rare that you'd see a ghost gun. They look exactly like guns and they serve the same purpose. They fire the same uh, capacity. Um, they can kill the same as a regular firearm. Drugs authorities were originally looking for were also found inside Lombardi's home. The guns there protect the drug business but also a drug dealers use guns to enforce their own sets of justice or to protect their drug stash. So in addition to those ghost guns and other weapons, state police say that Lombardi was also in possession of fentanyl, cocaine, drug sales paraphernalia, and more than $7,000 in cash. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. Matt, thank you. New tonight, Rhode Island State Police say they've made another large ghost gun bust following one in Pawtucket earlier this week. State Police say they seized 15 ghost guns yesterday following an extensive investigation in North Smithfield. They also seized ghost gun parts and three dozen large capacity feeding devices. State Police arrested 43-year-old Elliot Knorr. He's now charged with more than 50 felony counts. This happened one day after State Police say they found more than 20 ghost guns and the parts to make them in an apartment in Pawtucket. The suspect in that investigation, 56-year-old Ferdinando Lombardi, was arrested on more than 160 criminal counts.